Today we are focusing on on the uh, panel. First, we're gonna do the ceiling and to attach the panel. The panel is gonna be a uh, uh, one fourth inch plywood, and then the one fourth foam and the uh, fabric on top of it. So it's a three layer, four layer actually. This uh, uh, the the uh, what they call moisture barrier on the back side and it's gonna be uh, top against ceiling like this and we will attach uh, with the uh, ref nut we're using this plate here this is a, a metal plate uh, two by five inch and we made a uh, we enlarged uh, holes here to fit the uh, six millimeter um, ref nut then we put uh, the ref nut there the middle hole we are going to attach to the frame the ceiling frame like this so when we attach the um, ceiling we use a screw to uh, attach to that to hold everything up okay that, that's what we're gonna do All right, lunch time, everybody. Come enjoy lunch with me. Special today. Uh, we're gonna have uh, this is uh, mixed veggies. Uh, I got zucchini, squash, and uh, broccoli in um, oyster sauce. And I got my special. This is a uh, smoked salmon. I smoked it myself. And the steamed rice and some fruit today. Let's let's eat. And uh, while the boys are out to get a special lunch for themselves, let's see what they come back with today. It's supposed to be better than this, but I think mine's better. So Jeffrey came back. He claimed that he ate already in the car. <laughs> Something better. I did. What do you have? I had two. Well, don't say it. Don't say it. But whose food do you think is better? I think mine's better. Mm -hmm. Mine just tastes way better. Okay. So you wait until you see this video, huh? Oh okay. yeah, sure, sure. Okay, let's see what you're eating right now then. I'm not eating anything because huh? I already ate in the car. I just eating chips. I already. <laughs> Okay, we'll wait and see. All right, everybody. This took me a couple hours to try to cut the um, panel to match with our ceiling fan and the uh, LED lights. At the end, when we try to put it, it broke. So it took us a while to uh, align these holes. Uh, to the, the plate so we can mount it to the um, uh, ref nut but it, it was kind of hard so our next theory is we're gonna put something to use play-dohs so we know where the plates are against the, the roof and then we just put the play-doh and then we push from the bottom against it and there's a print of our uh, ref nut now we're gonna drill the hole through each one. Let's see if that theory works better. All right. So what we have to do now and use this point 
right in the middle of that play though and mark our point that's where we're gonna drill hopefully it'll work this time okay look everybody our theory works all the screws are in all the line I guess we can put a play-doh to use from now on not just for kids anymore uh, okay van bill lesson number one this is what you get you do when you get stuck cannot think you pick up your phone and you order pizza <laughs> no actually I'm only kidding about that one uh, my nephew thought of us working hard so he went and uh, dropped us a pizza this is Thai, Thai Tom Yum pizza thank you him for that okay what happened was originally we were using this Renegy MPPT solar charge control slash DC to DC charger all in one unit but we forgot that we have one solar panel of 360 watts with about 40 volts this unit only can handle 25 volts it doesn't work we missed reading the spec right there one little mistake so you guys can keep in mind if you're using this is 25 volts max and if you have any solar panels that is higher than 25 volts it will not work so instead we are changing to using two different units instead of uh, one unit all in one uh, this is Victron Energy uh, MPPT 30 amp solar charge control and then on a separate unit this is a uh, also Victron um, Orion smart isolated DC to DC charger okay so this one will connect to your starter battery and then connect to your battery so when your engine is on it starts charging your battery is if needed you can also uh, connect to your starter so every time you, you um, your ignition is on it starts charging in addition to that we also have the inverter that is the uh, plugged into your house or your campsite wherever the AC power source is available it's also charging your battery so it's multiple charging source is there all right to connect this I'm using a six uh, gauge wire on the positive side uh, I'm using a 30 amp fuse uh, output side going to the battery is one fuse and another side going to the car battery is another fuse only you only put the fuse on the positive side hi you guys today I'm working on connecting this uh, DC to DC charger I'm running the wires it's going into here and all along the, the back of this um, water tank here you can see right underneath that floor right there and goes under the water pump and then inside the wall and all along inside this wall here so here's an overview from there across that way inside that wall coming through here and then this uh, panel where the seat bill is I have to take that panel out to get that wire inside there 
and because there's no uh, place to hide in here so I have to run it under this uh, floor and it goes under this uh, uh, floor here and get into our battery just to find out that the negative side is a little bit short the positive side I'm fine with it we're short on the negative side just a little bit short All right. yeah very tight space so we will have to find like places to hide the wires then it's a lot of uh, curves and makes the fire, I mean the, the wire a little bit short at the end. That's a bummer. Um, this is a 15 feet wire. Maybe I have to uh, connect a little bit at that end. So that's a problem we run into right now. Oh, I made it. Finally, it's just right there. Perfect. All right. We finally got our DC charger hooked up. It's ready to go, everybody. Here you go. So you got this line here, input, this is from the car, positive and negative, with the fuse, and this output going into our uh, lithium battery, negative, and the positive with another fuse. Okay, the plan for to complete the panel was not done. We messed up, we cut the wrong pan. I mean the panel wrong so we kind of out of time on that one for the weekend we pushed to the side um, I went ahead finish our main part of the electrical so now our electrical main part is done except just the, the a couple of USB plugs and the LED uh, lights with the uh, ceiling and that's it uh, besides that I need a break we're gonna take a couple of days uh, break from the van build and uh, we will pick up again we will uh, continue with the uh, the water system the plumbing and stuff and the sink okay everybody thank you for watching I will see you the, uh, in the next episode I hope you like this episode as well Okay.